I'm Bear Grylls. I've served with the British Special Forces, climbed to the summit of Everest, and crossed the frozen oceans of the Arctic. Now, I'm going to show you how to survive in some of the toughest environments known to man. This week, my challenge is to cross the dangerous terrain of the University of Newcastle's Callaghan campus. Made up of hectare upon hectare of bushland, about 16,000 students attend this campus. And every year, hundreds find themselves lost and in need of rescuing. I'm going to use all of my skills to show you how to survive. Before we've even begun, we've found an obstacle. My driver is trying to find a suitable drop zone, but everyone knows it's near impossible to find a park in this area. He's going to slow down in this no stopping zone just long enough for me to jump out. And we're away. The first thing you notice about this place is just the mosquitoes. They're bloody awful. Just as big as great whites. And just as bloodthirsty. But before we do anything, we have to get these off our back. This is a great way to keep the mosquitoes away. It may look a bit silly, but the way student fashion is going these days, you can probably pass it off as hobo chic. Let's go. Got a lot of work to do before nightfall. Now, I, I don't know if you can see this, but not meters away, there's a law tutor. Now, we have to be very careful, because my actions now could mean the difference between life and death. There were some law students from Melbourne University who got trapped by one of these law tutors. And they were stuck there for three days. In the end, they had to take their pens and stab themselves in the neck just to end the boredom. So we're going to have to be very careful. I think I'm going to have to crawl. One of the most important things when you're trying to survive is keeping your energy up, which means finding food and more importantly, water. Now there are plenty of vendors here, but it's no use. It would take me hours to get to the front of the line. Hours I don't have. Now, you might be wondering, with all these students around, why I can't just ask one of them for help. And the answer is, because each of these students is so tired that they haven't got an ounce of energy spare on a dying man. But while these guys may not be much help, they leave plenty of waste around that can be. I need fluids to keep me going. And although it sounds awful, I can use this cup to collect my own urine, which is a godsend right now. No. Oh, that's disgusting. I can still taste the double espresso through the piss. How do they drink that shit? When you're in the wild, you never pass up an opportunity. And you use anything you can to help you survive. My next priority is food. So I'm using my shoelaces to make a snare. Now usually you have to be pretty lucky for this to work. But I've got bait. I've set this trap up in a main thoroughfare for the prey I'm looking for. It's right in front of the drama theatre and I don't have to wait long. Thirsty. These pretzels are making 
Quick, let's go. We caught ourselves a drama student. Yeah, I don't have time to cook it, so I'm going to have to eat it raw. These students taste awful, but they're full of protein and vitamins. And the best thing is that unlike much of the local wildlife, it's recognised that drama students have no purpose in life, so no one really cares what happens to them. I'm really exhausted now. I've been walking for hours. I've made a critical mistake in misjudging the time I have until the sun sets. But I have one last trick up my sleeve. Now, legend has it that there's a mysterious but noble group of natives who can be found in these parts uh, who are all too willing to help out a stranded explorer. But you have to know how to call them, which is why, uh, why I'm fashioning uh, this tool here. Um, you know, the, it's a signaling device, or as I like to call it, a rape whistle. Yeah, they're not coming. 